Hi, I'm Miles. I'm an egg and addict. Welcome to my rehabilitation program. Today I've got something for you that I've not come across before, much less owned, and that's the Cometa 400S Phoenix Carbine, which has an extremely short barrel on it. Let's get a close up of that. Probably about six, seven inches if you factor in it. Must go into the science for a bit. Bit of a curiosity and something that I've since uh, obtaining this have read up about and it's got some rave reviews really positive about this one my idea was for a close range ratter I thought this would be superb now the flagship of the Cometa range uh, the 400 uh, pips the 300 by being a bit meatier and obviously a bit uh, heavier on price I think brand new uh, from what I've seen on Gunstar and various websites these are about 200 to 225 pounds brand new which uh, seems exceptional value seems really good so far from my handling of it uh, some of the common complaints of owners were from new the power would be fine at 12 you know sort of 11 and a half foot pounds and then would suddenly collapse to 9.9 .9 or you know even down to eight foot pounds owing to a very poor mainspring and the same story with this one uh, the previous owner had it from new and the power just dipped right off so i cracked him open very straightforward to strip. Uh, the only niggle I have is the curious uh, sear system for engaging the trigger and the safety. It slides along the top of the trigger mechanism underneath this action, so the piston has a tail. I won't bore you with the mechanics, but it's very similar to a TX200, uh, whereby you have a nut retaining that and all the innards uh, come out, which is great. It makes for a really simple rifle. So it got that rather pathetic spring out and I've put in a new one now. So today I'm going to try and ascertain which is the best pellet for this gun at what I'm told is about 10.7 foot pounds in this little carbine. Now I've set up my little range here. Uh, I'm probably 10, 15 yards. So I'm going to retire back to 30 yards because uh, the chap who uh, would like to use this gun, he does want it for ratting but he does want it also uh, for longer range stuff and I'm curious to see how a short carbine can perform at these ranges. Uh, I personally would use it probably to 20 yards but from the reviews I've read this is a very accurate rifle. The common ones you see on YouTube and uh, reviews have much longer barrels. I think the standard one uh, may come out to about here. I, I, I can only tell by sort of looking at the pictures but this carbine looks very short. Now the Spaniards make them uh, to cope with 20 foot pounds so this should be well within its capabilities uh, I wouldn't ever attempt to put this up that high and if you were in the US or Spain um, <laughs> I imagine you have a heck of a difficulty with this short leverage and I wouldn't advise using the very end of the silencer just simply for my concerns of uh, how it's attached but let's get on I've got a, a Hawk Eclipse a rather an aged one uh, but he's very good on top and uh, let's get on and see how he performs
wow. I mean, that's pretty staggering. I mean, you've just seen, obviously I'll uh, speed up the footage, you've just seen all those groups. And if it weren't for AA fields, I would have said there's something horribly wrong with that gun. Uh, the only factor that I can think of to account for some of these wildly erratic groups, uh, I don't think it's solely just me. Um, I really, really concentrated. Uh, I didn't, I didn't overly th uh, concentrate on AA fields, and yet there you have two shots I did pull, which I've marked here. But you've got an exceptionally tight group there, 30 yards. The the only bit of change I got on me is a pound coin. And you see that that amply covers it. That's 30 yards. Uh, I was surprised at how badly I can count and how easily I lose count. I will say if you want to do these tests, um, in fairness to Day State Range Master Allies, yeah, turn your phone off because if the RAC ring you, it can upset your concentration. That's a pain in the ass. But uh, I mean, they're, they're awful. H and N F T Ts were a real surprise. I've never known them to group that badly. Bisley Magnums. There we go. SMK's a bit biased. Why the hell did I even bother with them? Well, because uh, I know a lot of people buy them. Possibly okay for short range ratting. It makes me laugh when Nigel Allen talks about uh, tight groups. I, he, he could probably make me eat my hat by showing me cards. He's, he's no doubt a better marksman than I am. He's had a lot of experience, but to even mention SMK Spitfires really is a joke. Uh, it's put there as a cheap pellet that often people do try. It's on the forums, uh, guys come in. The biggest advice I can give anyone as proven here, if I didn't have AA fields I'd have probably thrown that gun around a tree. I'd, I'd be really upset. If you buy a new gun Buy a tin of AA fields or JSB exacts. Uh, I've just done a trade with a, a mate who wanted some JSB, so I, I couldn't test those as well. Uh, despite the argument raging uh, on the internet as to whether the AA fields and JSB are one and the same, I'm, I'm going to sit on the fence. I'm going to say they they put very similar performances. Let let's just say that very tight groups, consistent in most guns that I've fired. 9 out of 10 of them will gobble up AA fields and JSBs and you will not miss. It will land where you point the crosshairs once you've scoped, uh, once you've zeroed your scoping. But uh, Acupel's not too shabby. Not too shabby. They're, they're the clear second. The rest, the rest don't bear thinking about. And that's actually how I came by that gun. The, the former owner was a former sniper. Uh, in the army years and years ago and he was upset about uh, his inability to obtain accurate groups at range. I kind of see where he's coming from. That gun you do have to, like the HW95, do be aware of how hard or loose you're holding. Try and be consistent with your hold. The trigger, in my eyes, it is two stage, fully adjustable. Unfortunately the, the screw behind the trigger is really stiff and I can't seem to get up in there and mess around with that and as such I've got a very short first stage and it's, it's pretty creepy you're not quite sure, oh and then it's gone you could probably get used to it, I'm sure it could be fettled, I'm sure it could be fine tuned but on that particular gun the whole thing for me the weakest point is that trigger it's plastic blade, I'm not a fan of that, others are I appreciate why they put them on uh, but I do like a bit of nice curvaceous metal to seat my finger pad again. But with the context I had in mind for the Cometa 400S Phoenix as a short range ratter, it would be superb and I'm sure it will be. I had it over the chronograph and yes it's putting out a, between 10.6 and 10.7. There were a couple of anomalies, let's say, whether that's the low light inside the barn uh, or whether that's the spring settling in, which might again account for some of the groups, but it's not wildly erratic, so no. Uh, I think we've got quite a few lessons learned there, and for Cometa 400S owners, 
out there, prospective ones and current ones, if you're not using AA fields, then give them a go. Because you might be getting good groups with such pellets like Acupel or whatever you're using, but it, it does appear that you'll you'll hit pretty much anything you aim at with AA fields, certainly in this particular barrel. But thanks for watching, I hope that's been of some use for you guys, and uh, till next time, all the best.